What's up guys, Kevin Cage here with another XRP update. This is going to be a super quick video and an absolute must see regarding why we are so early. I'm going to be giving you some statistics of the trillions of dollars that have yet to be tokenized, let alone interoperable with the DLT infrastructure. Right here, looking at a price chart, this is the total cryptocurrency market cap excluding Bitcoin. So we have all of the altcoin market just at $1 trillion today. Of course, the total cryptocurrency market is a bit closer to $2 trillion, but most of that is Bitcoin. And if you've watched my previous videos, I just need to emphasize market cap is nothing but a social construct. That is not how much money is sitting liquid in there for that valuation. All it is is circulating supply multiplied by last traded price. If you cannot get past that, you should not be watching this video. I'd like to highlight polysign.io in this video, of course, this needs no introduction, of course, has deep ties with the company Ripple and XRP and their founders, and then Standard Custody, which is their subsidiary and also happens to have a New York State Department of Financial Services banking charter. And I think we all understand why it's based in New York, because they are going after the financial capitals of the world capital markets this is trillions of dollars so let's dive into some stats show you the trillions of dollars 100 plus trillion by the way has a high probability of flowing through digital assets specifically xrp first up back in november 2020 i know the global stock market value rised almost 100 trillion dollars there's been more money that's been printed than ever before you have approximately five trillion dollars parked in money market accounts as many investors are still afraid of stocks what a silly title for an article by cnbc nonetheless stock markets continue to push at all-time high prices don't even get me started on that you have old reports by mckinsey this is like a decade old 118 trillion dollars in counting talking about stocks in the world's capital markets and here we have some recent stats so chapter two global capital markets so we have the global bond markets continuing to grow roughly 16.5 percent to 123.5 trillion dollars in just last year alone we can see that there's also global long-term bond issuance has increased another 20 percent to 27 trillion dollars we can see global equity market cap has increased by 18 percent to over 105 trillion dollars in 2020 u.s gross activity in foreign securities increased to 46 trillion and foreign gross activity in the u.s securities market increased by almost 20 percent to 98 trillion dollars just last year and of course the dtcc we've discussed their ties specifically to the company ripple and their former ceo fyi was in charge as chairman of the global payment steering group which is aka ripple net making ripple the standard it goes very deep yet again how much money have they sent in value worldwide in a year's time well in 2011 alone it was close to 1.7 quadrillion so almost two quadrillion dollars this is the fed before there was a fed and now back in june 2020 with more money than ever before in the system the dtcc processed over two quadrillion dollars in securities and yes the derivatives market is massive and on the low end we're talking about maybe 700 trillion depository trust and clearing corporation providing the vast majority of clearing and settlement services in the u.s for securities that is the biggest point i want to make here now why on earth was the former ceo of one of the biggest organizations in the world not only added as an advisor to the company ripple don donahue but also named chairman of the global payment steering group exactly now i want to show this two minute clip of jack mcdonald this is the ceo of standard custody just like they call xrp the standard listen to what he has to say about xrp the digital asset and massive shout out to digital asset investor for sharing this clip and remember the train has left the station was said by rosie rios who also joined the board of directors for ripple and she was the 43rd u.s treasurer our founder is arthur brito who is one of the three co-founders of ripple responsible for designing and developing the xrp ledger which compared with bitcoin basically uh, exceeds every measure around scalability throughput speed of transactions um, uh, cost effectiveness environmentally friendliness etc we also have david schwartz who is on our board and an investor uh, in the company a strategic advisor he's the current cto and chief cryptographer at ripple so these guys are real rock stars in their field uh, i come from a traditional finance background having run a company called conifer before a successful exit we have tim keeney whom you know who uh, casts a very long shadow in this industry ran all asset servicing at bny mellon for a dozen years 
So we really feel like we understand how traditional finance and capital markets work, but also uh, really on the cutting edge of cryptography and blockchain. So we bring that to bear. So standard custody and trust being sold to a, a major global custodian bank in a few years time is, is, is one exit for your investors. It wouldn't shock me. Yeah. Whether it's fiat to crypto, crypto to crypto, or crypto to fiat, uh, and do that within the walled garden of our regulated and insured uh, custodial platform. So it's essentially an off-chain or off-exchange transaction, an OTC transaction, but you can do that in a trusted and insured manner. Capital markets, as we know it, is going to be transformed and is going to be digitized 10 years from now. The world is absolutely changing. Um, you know, all the analogies around the train has left the station, et cetera. It is undeniable in my mind that the world is going digital um, in terms of, of capital markets specifically, and that um, asset servicing as we know it will fundamentally change. There's no reason we have to have T plus two settlement uh, in the US or other than having been built on legacy infrastructure and architecture. Uh, there's also, I think, a vested interest in, in having a delayed settlement period there's a lot of hands in the cookie jar who enjoy the float uh over that time exactly so as he said there's a lot of hands in the cookie jar that enjoy that float and also take fees for even letting them transact over their centralized network this is why xrp and the xrp ledger open all of this up now before showing the next clip and notice he was highlighting capital markets the topic of today trillions of dollars and what did he say compared to XRP. Legitimately just use XRP as an example, discussing why it is superior to other assets. And two of the people that are part of PolySign and Standard Custody, literally, Arthur Brito created the XRP ledger, and David Schwartz, the CTO of Ripple. And for those of you that have made it this far in this video, props. Really quick guys, so also we have a 20% off coupon code for anybody that wants to buy a Ledger Nano S or a Ledger Nano X. I did in fact tweet this, you can get 20% off with the coupon code live hyphen Kevin. Just wanted to point that out and store your crypto off exchanges in a secure and offline manner. As I've shared, I do have several of these, but you really just need one. And also, there are free software options like Trust Wallet, Atomic, Exodus, etc. So completely up to personal preference. Next up, guys, I want to show you this 26 second clip shared by Crypto Eddie. We have this gentleman right here discussing in this 26 clip. His name is David, R3 Venture Developer Lead, about 90%, and this is in quotes, 90% of the banking sector leverages Corda. The first settlement mechanism named was XRP. Do you not see the coincidence? And of course, Swift GPI is included. And guys, please go watch King Solomon's latest video, King Solomon XRP. He literally just showed a patent that is pending right now with Synchrony Bank, which is one of the largest U.S credit issuers 65 million accounts all tied to amazon ebay and paypal these are the things that i consider but anyways just listen to this really quick and of course she tags xdc xrp q and t some assets that have obvious ties to r3 and r3 has really heavy ties with sia as well sia so listen up and of course can construct these future payment rails that incorporate these digital assets so there are partner customers, things like DTCC, as uh, a lot of people now know with the, the recent GameStop thing, how much actually the, 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 the clearing and settlement of, of equities is important. We've had things like Wells Fargo and, and MasterCard and NASDAQ. So, you know, as I mentioned, about 90% of the banking sector leverages quarters. So this is a huge use case. Absolutely mind boggling. Also regarding IRAs, individual retirement accounts, 401ks and anything in between, there's approximately 11 to 12 trillion dollars as of the end of March 2021. That's 10 trillion plus sitting in the stock market at all time high prices. Do not be surprised to see more of this money flow into crypto. Links are in the video description for I Trust Capital. I do have a Roth IRA with this platform with over $2 billion in transactions. I like my Roth IRA because there are 0% capital gains on all trading within this platform. Tax-free trading, links in the video description to get your first month free. And for all of you Tezos fans, XTZ is on the way. And lastly, guys, to finish up with a laugh, this is the funniest meme I've seen in quite some time. This is actually from the movie Troy and shared by XRP underscore shark, another community member. And the little boy goes on to say, I sold XRP because of the lawsuit. That's why no one will remember your name from Brad Pitt. And I saw some people commenting on my Instagram post telling me they bought XRP because of the lawsuit. That's what I call a savage investor. The definition of driven. Links in the video description. I'll catch you in the next one.